What's up amazing ballroom dancers, Alexi is here and welcome to Ballroom with Alexi. Today I am super excited to share with you three easy things that you can do every morning to start owning the rest of your day. So here's the thing guys, because of all of this available time which we have right now for us, it's very easy to lose the structure of a day and kind of roll too much with the flow, stop noticing what day is it, you know what I'm talking about. Instead of that, I want to encourage you and as well myself to use this time constructively and gain benefits from it and maybe develop one or two good, strong, positive habit. One of the best habits which I personally can benefit from is creating a better structure for my morning. Morning which will allow me to be more productive and effective for the rest of the day. So I would like to share with you a couple tips which I am going to use for myself. So first, we will start with hydrating. Second, we'll do get some sunlight. And third, we'll move. So now let's go into each of those steps individually. So first step on our list is to hydrate. So we're gonna wait with the coffee a little bit and what we're gonna do, we're gonna pour some water for us. You can totally just drink water but I'm going to use a recommendation of Aubrey Marcus who recommended me <laughs> in his podcast to use this mineral cocktail. So you're basically just doing a quarter of lemon, squeezing it into your water and as well adding a three grams of Himalayan pink salt into your cocktail. Of course we have to stir it pretty well to dissolve the salt and why we add in salt is so the water would stay longer into our cells. So salt helps us to be more hydrated. And here's our mineral cocktail. Now when we have our cocktail ready we are going outside to get some sunlight to use our second step is to get the sunlight. So if you don't have a backyard, you can totally go to your balcony, to your patio, or, or even just to, to your window. Open the window and drink this cocktail with enjoying the fresh air, getting some sunlight. Take a deep breath in to try to feel the notes of the smell in the air and maybe have some gratitude and enjoy your cocktail. After you finish with your cocktail and you get some sunlight, now it's a perfect time to move your body a little bit. Basically, you can do whatever you want. You can just dance on stretch, however you feel. But this is a routine which I'm going to follow. So we'll start with a nice breath in. Stretch all the way up and breath out. So then stretch one arm to the side. Take your time, breathe in and breathe out and stretch your other arm to the side. Now both of your arms stretching up, move your arms down and open your chest really wide. Then do opposite action and pull your chest back and stretch your arms forward. Then with the deep breath in, move your shoulders up and a breath out, lower them down. Let's repeat this action again. Breath in, shoulders up, breath out, shoulders down. Now roll your head down and vertebra by vertebra, lower all of your body down. Completely relax your neck, relax your whole body and kind of hang in there. Then you can do simple movement rocking your body from one foot to another, make sure that you're fully relaxed and then you can move your body up as well, vertebra by vertebra, little by little, going up, going to the neutral position. Lock your hands behind your back and stretch your chest and then lower your body with maintaining the stretch in your arms. As well, try to find what feels good for you. Relax, make sure that your knees unlocked. Okay? From here, let's go and take a downward dog position. And 
just explore there. Feel free to move from one foot to another. Kind of stretch your, your thighs. And then we go to the nice plank position. As well, feel free to explore and rock from side to side. Then we go into the cobra position, stretching up, lowering our pelvis down and putting our feet on the floor. With this position, make sure to maintain a nice posture and look left and right into the heels of your, into your heels, okay? After that, let's go to child pose, stretch, and really just hang in there as long as you want. This is really nice to be there right now. Yeah, take your time. Then go low and put your chest into the floor. Move your arms on this side and do a nice stretch with maintaining your pelvis on the floor. Kind of like um, waving action into your spine. Up and down. Okay, then let's move to the tabletop position, doing one more downward dog, moving your right leg up and going to the runner's lunge position. From here, we'll lift the right arm up and create a nice stretch. As well, make sure that you have 90 degree in your, in your knee, and then turn in and create this kind of stretch. You can either keep your heel on the floor in your standing foot, either you can disconnect it and lift it up. Whatever feels better for you. Then we're going up into the warrior two position. Staying tall, nice stretch spine, breath out and creating a nice stretch forward. Okay. Then we're going into the plank position. You can do some push-up. If it's hard for you to do a regular push-up, do a knee push-up, lifting opposite foot up. Now it's our left foot, creating a runner's lunge position and doing opposite side stretch. Make sure to smile, connect to your body, feel your muscles, open your pelvis and create a stretch. You can either keep your heel up, either keep it down, whatever feels better for you. Okay, then we're going up to our warrior two position and staying, feeling nice support from the floor, making sure that we're building our position from the floor. Nice strong core. Then we're going down and basically here, this is the end of our movement. I just decided to improvise a little, feel my body connect little you can do the same you can move however you feel like have a little circular movement connect your arms if you want yes and finish it with the nice stretch of your knees and shaking of your arms thank you all right guys so as i said earlier you absolutely don't have to follow this exact structure just create your own, find your own routine of movement. You can just dance, jump around, do whatever feels right for you, all right? And as well, this is not the only things you can do. After this nice movement, it's a perfect time to do a little meditation, maybe contemplation, visualization, journaling, maybe read some book or go for a walk. So do something which will feed your soul. All right, I hope this video is inspiring you and motivates you to take control of your morning. All right, and if this video was helpful for you, please make sure to press like, subscribe to my channel. And if you feel resonated, 
to my content if you like what I produce and you would love to support me you can do this by checking my patreon page which is patreon.com slash ballroom with Alexi recently I added a new tier there which will allow us to have one-on-one -on -one coaching calls so if you feel like supporting please go check out my patreon page I would highly appreciate that other than that, take care, stay healthy. The only way out of all of this situation is through. And the only way through is all together. So let's stay together and everything will be great.